Hey guys, On Malou here. We've covered the basic of Krav Maga in depth and some of the most common scenarios you can have on the street. This time, we decided to explore and show you some more advanced techniques of Krav Maga. We covered knife stabs on the ground when he's on your side and on top of you. Now we're gonna move right into what happens if he's actually threading you. So we're gonna call your guest to join us and we're continuing with the same concept, advanced Krav Maga techniques. And now, once again, I reached the ground. Maybe you started actually with a knife thread on the top here and you've put me on the ground and you're coming all the way on top of me. Okay, so here, once again, you're on the mount and threading me now. Pay attention, it's not a stab, right? A stab, I'm gonna have to do something else as we learned last time. Or if you're gonna go from here, I'm gonna do, have to also do something else. But right now, you're basically threading me. Okay, so we understand that thread, the person wants something out of you. So of course, if you can make him calm down and give him whatever he wants, that's gonna be the best thing. But if you feel like you're in immediate danger, you might react. So once we'll do it fast and then we'll break it down. <sighs> no, please. So you'll get whenever I move, you can simply cut or you can pull the hand, drive the stab, okay? Simply react like an attacker. What do you want? Want my money? Please leave me alone. <laughs> so he's threading me. Might be that he's on the top and most likely he's gonna be a little closer to you. Okay, but you can always bring those hands a little bit closer to the danger, even if he's holding your shirt. Okay, now pay attention. I'm going to redirect the hand and I'm gonna have to grab it. So redirecting with two hands is definitely not gonna be enough because he wants the knife back and he can pull the knife here and then I'm in a serious problem. If I'm going to try to redirect the knife, I have to take control of it. One hand is not enough as we see a lot of people doing this kind of a move. What I would recommend is the same exact technique like, like we teach in knife threat when you're standing up. So redirection and a grab. How does it look like fast? Please leave me alone. Whoop. Right now you can try to pull the knife. Ah, try to pull the knife. So of course I'm in control here. He's pulling my whole body because I created a, lo a lock. Okay, from here you work with those legs and you're going to oh, use the hips. Now pay attention, from here you don't have any hands, You're, you don't want to leave the knife and try to attack, you want to stay there. That's why you're going to have to use your headbutt. Boom, if you know how to headbutt, that could be a great tool. Do not underestimate headbutts. So from here, headbutts, and I can use, pay attention, the elbow to push on the chest. I guess you feel that, okay? I can maybe use the elbow to hit also the head, but I'm not leaving the knife. I don't care what's happening. I'm not leaving the knife. That's the most important part. I don't care if he's gonna punch me with the other hand, right? I care more about the knife. So if he's punching me, I'm gonna duck and most likely he's gonna injure his knuckles more than um, hurt me. So from here, controlling, using those headbutts. More than that, he wants the knife, so he's pulling, boom, he's pulling, boom. You're using those headbutts, you're using the elbow pressure on the sternum bone. Hurts a lot, till once again, you feel secure enough when the knife is falling or you feel the confidence to stand up. And of course, take control if you have to stand up and still kick him, you can do that as well. Take control of the situation. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.